Now the states are fighting among themselves to see if such a country can last. We are gathered today on this battlefield. And tell me, who delivered the Gettysburg Address? Uh, Jonathan. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. And where was this address given? Uh, Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Yes. During what famous period of our history? The Civil War. Civil War. I've been working with this fluency club for nine years here at Hunt. It really just started as a group of kids getting together in the reading room in the morning before school just to read for for fluency and, and comprehension. and. At one point, we pulled out Reader's Theater, and eventually it turned into a performance-type situation where local um, businesses would ask us to come perform. We um, go around the community and perform Reader's Theater, and one of the places that we stop each year is at the Journal. And Bruce Miller has always been a huge supporter of our club and the work that they do. When he had heard about the Ken Burns uh, documentary on the on the Gettysburg Address, he was talking apparently to Mr. Burns who, and he said, I've got a group of kids in Sioux City, Iowa who would just be awesome at this and I think that you should ask them to perform for your website. So Bruce called me two days before our spring break, a week-long spring break, and asked if we would be able to take on this task. For me, the first thing was we have to make this something that the kids connect to, and they're not going to connect to that older language. And so we had to make it real for them in saying, this is what was going on historically, this is what had happened. The paraphrase, I think, really helped the kids. And so when they were memorizing it, I gave them both pieces. They had both the, the real Gettysburg Address and then the paraphrase was, was stapled to the back of it so that they could look if they came to something that was very daunting and they didn't understand what that meant. They had that piece right with them so that they could look over it. I did piece by piece and I would do the sentence that I had before. So I would go greater and greater and then I would read it all together. I would like read a sentence and then I would like try to put it down and then read it and then I would try like say it over and over again until I got it. I would read like four or five sentences and I'd keep repeating them and then my mom she would grab the paper and then I'd read the sentences all together until I got to like the far farther sentences. I just read with my sister. I think that that's always going to be there. I mean, it's just like riding a bike. They're always going to be have access to that and be able to articulate that into the future. And then hopefully some the, the follow through will be like if they're in drama or or you know, maybe this will open up a path for some of them to be interested in, in civil rights work or, or you know, government work. Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal.